Okay guys, so you need uh, a roll of garden fence, you need a uh, fence post and ties to tie the post to the fence. Okay guys, so again, what you need to start out with is um, a roll of garden fence, which is right here. That roll is probably about $25, and that's plus with that little piece of fencing that we took off of it. Um, so step one is you want to start out with a chain link fence. Once you have that, you want to find a pole. And then you want to tie these this garden fence, just one little strip of it, to the pole and to the fencing there. This will come out like this in a V shape. And you want to have your you know your fence post, full, probably four of them you'll need. And uh, this will be on the end, on the end, and one in the middle. And then that's will be your base. So uh, so what you do is you want to make sure this fence is you know pulled out tight on both sides because if it's too loose the bucks will just rip the whole fence apart so um you know what you do is you put the corn right back in the corner there and when the bucks go in to eat their antlers will get caught on the sides of this fence and when they pull back their antlers will come off if they're ready and you know here's this another feeding station you can have so even just with one of these you can have um, three places for the bucks because there eat. is another feeding station here so that's how you make a um, shed antler trap. Again, you just all you need is three simple items, just tie-offs, tie to the fence. You need a roll of garden fence, and you need some fence posts. And you need a chain link fence, probably. Or you can make an X, but um, I will uh, show you how to do that in the description. So please scroll down to the description, comment, and subscribe. Thank you for watching. Cuz Hunting 3-8.